Welcome back. In this video, we will discuss about the remaining cell organelles. Those are called as microbodies. Microbodies. So these are also a single membrane bound cell organelles. So in this, we are having very important cell organelles. Those are peroxisomes and another one those are glyoxisomes these are two different kinds of cell organelles two are different in their functions and those two are plays an important and a specialized functions in the cells so we will see what are the functions and where these cell organelles are present that means in which animals or which organisms these are present those details we will see okay now if you are dealing with the peroxisomes now we have to know where they are present they are present in the they are present in the photosynthetic cells photosynthetic cells of plants photosynthetic cells of plants and in animals in animals they are present in the cells of cells of liver kidneys brain and small intestine small intestine etc these are present in the cells of these organs so here so we now we have to understand what are the function what are the functions of these peroxisomes these peroxisomes are having enzymes these are having enzymes that are helpful for synthesizing synthesizing hydrogen peroxide that is H2O2. So those type of enzymes are called as oxidases. The enzymes which are helpful for the synthesis of hydrogen peroxide. So peroxides, those are oxidases. And it is also having enzymes for destroying, destroying H2O2. Those enzymes, those group of enzymes are also called as catalyses also called as catalyses okay so the same organelle have the enzymes for the synthesis and for the destroying so here h2o2 has to be present in the cell at a minimum amount so if the amount is increased if the concentration of h2o2 is increased in the cells it will destroy the cell itself it is toxic for the cell so that's why if the amount or the concentration is increasing, these catalyses will release and break down those H2O2 and helpful for the cell by protecting from the toxicity of H2O2. So this is the function of peroxisomes. Okay, and these are present in the photosynthetic cells of plants and in animal cells, particularly the cells of liver, brain, kidneys and small intestine etc so this is about the peroxisomes and now moving to glyoxisomes these glyoxisomes are present the glyoxisomes are present in fungal cells and before that we have protista some protista it is also having glyoxisomes and germinating seeds of higher plants germinating seeds of plants see here we have to observe the point germinating seeds so these are present in those cells only higher plants mostly they are not having glyoxisomes so here one more important point is glyoxisomes are absent the glyoxisomes are absent in animal cells. 
the opportunity in animal cells. This is one of the most important point. These are opportunity in animal cells. And these are also having the single membrane bound. So one membrane is surrounding the glyoxysome. And what is the function of this? The function here is function here is it have enzymes which is also storing enzymes which are helpful for helpful for conversion of conversion of fatty acids or lipids to soluble sugars soluble sugars that means here the seed for example we planted a seed initially it cannot have leaves so it cannot prepare its own food so what is happening it is utilizing the energy it is utilizing the food resources which is storing in the endosperm of the seed so in endosperm the food is initially stored in the form of lipids so then the glyoxysome releases some enzymes and that enzymes break break down the lipids and converts into simple soluble sugars so then this form can be taken by the plant cell or else uh, the seed so and the seed will germinate so this is essential in the germinating seeds so this is about the microbodies that is uh, peroxisomes and glyoxysomes now here we are having another type of cell organelles those are nothing but the, those are nothing but cytoskeleton cytoskeleton what is cytoskeleton cytoskeleton is nothing but a group of a group of filamentous protein network the group of filamentous protein network which helps in supporting the membrane system supporting the membrane system of a cell that means we have the cell itself is membrane bound and in here in that cell we are having so many cell organelles that are surrounded by membrane again so for the support of those membranes we are having the cytoskeleton so it is supports the membrane system of cell supports the membrane system of cell so here they are made up of different types of proteins and in cytoskeleton if you are talking in particular there are having different types of cytoskeletal elements so what are those those are nothing but micro tubules and micro filaments micro tubules and micro filaments so what are those where they are present and by which protein it is made up of and what is the function of those micro tubules and micro filaments we will see in detail now one by one we will see first of all micro tubules micro tubules these are present in micro tubules are present in cilia flagella and spindle fibers these are present in cilia flagella and spindle fibers etc so what is a cilia for example this is a cell and here we are having a small hair like structures we can see in a paramecium small hair like structures that is responsible or helpful for the movement of this cell 
so it is helpful in locomotion of the cell the movement from one place to another place so these are cilia small hair like structures but in uvina if you observe if you observe the uvina you can see a small hair or small uh, long whip like structure so that is flagella that is flagella these are cilia so they can ask the difference between cilia and flagella so what is the difference main difference cilia are many in number but these are up, up to 14000 in a cell but maximum they may be up to 1 to 8 only maximum 8 so different types of organisms exhibit a different number of flagella but the primary function is locomotion they are helpful for locomotion how they are made up of these tubules that is flagella and cilia are made up of micro tubules and micro tubule is made up of a protein protein that is tubulin protein very important the micro tubule is made up of tubulin protein and here one more thing spindle fibers they are present in the cell the spindle fibers are present they are present in the cell so for example if the cell is going to be divided so here chromosomes have to divide and they have to migrate towards the poles so for the migration of for the migration of the chromosomes these microtubules will be helpful so once they migrate to the poles the cell will be divided into two so we will see in detail what is how the migration takes place uh, and how the division takes place in the when we are discussing the cell division topic so for the migration of chromosomes from the middle to the poles the microtubules will be helpful okay so these are about microtubules and next one micro filaments micro filaments so here these are also the proteinaceous network made up of a protein these micro filaments are mainly made up of a protein that is actin is there it is tubulin here it is actin so where they are present mostly the micro filaments are present in the cells of muscle so we are also called as myo filaments myo filaments here what is the function of those micro filaments they are helpful in the contraction of contraction of muscle cells for example i am doing like this here what happened this muscle is contracted and relaxed so for the contraction purpose the micro filaments that are made up of the protein actin is essential so if the actin protein is not there the muscle cannot be contracted so these are the different types of micro tubules a micro tubules and micro filaments under the cytoskeleton and the function of flagella and cilia is for a, mainly for locomotion and this is about the remaining cell organelles present in a cell and in the next video we will discuss about some specialized structures that are present in the prokaryotic cells here almost the common cell organelles we discussed here and the special cell organelles which are present in the prokaryotic cells we will see thank you